In this video, you will learn to identify the most acidic or basic molecule, the strongest acid or the strongest base. To identify the most acidic molecule or the strongest acid, we first need to identify and draw the most acidic proton within each molecule. In this example, the most acidic protons are the ones on heteroatoms. We can use method 1 or method 2 to identify the most acidic molecule. To use the pKa method, we look up the pKa value of each functional group in a pKa table. We can estimate the pKa value of the alcohol at about 16 or 17, and of the phenol at about 10. Therefore, the alcohol is the weaker acid of this pair. The phenol is the stronger acid. However, the thiophenol's pKa value is not available in this pKa table. We have two choices. We can look up its pKa value in a more detailed table, such as Evans or Bordwell's pKa tables, or we can use method 2 to determine where thiophenol fits into this series. Let's get some practice with method 2. To do so, we draw each of the conjugate bases and compare their relative stabilities. Which factor differentiates the alkoxide from phenolate? Which factor differentiates phenolate and thiophenolate? Which base is most stable? Resonance differentiates the alkoxide from phenolate. The alkoxide is not resonance stabilized, whereas the phenolate is both resonance stabilized and aromatic. Aromaticity is a concept you will learn in your organic chemistry courses. That makes the phenolate more stable than the alkoxide. Like phenolate, thiophenolate is resonance stabilized. Therefore, resonance doesn't allow us to differentiate between these bases' stability. Atom size differentiates phenolate and thiophenolate because the basic atoms are in the same column of the periodic table. Sulfur is larger than oxygen, which means it can better stabilize the negative charge, making thiophenolate the weaker base. The weaker the conjugate base, the stronger its acid. So thiophenol is the strongest acid in this series. We can confirm our analysis by finding its pKa value in Evans' pKa table. It is approximately 7. In this video, you learn to identify the most acidic or basic molecule using method 1 or 2. To do so, you first identified the most acidic proton within each molecule then compared pKa values of the acids. Alternatively, you could compare the relative stabilities of the bases, if directly comparing bases, or of the conjugate bases. Both methods give the same result.